Uh, Billy, you mentioned Lonzo and Caruso when it came to playing with pace and really, um, you know, pushing the ball, not letting the ball stick. Is that something you're emphasizing, you know, in training camp is not letting the ball stick? And how do you go about emphasizing ball movement and mixing it with, you know, the Mars isolation play? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that there's always a balance, right? I mean, DeMar is who he is for a reason, and, and he's a very smart player. And the one thing I respect about DeMar is everything that he always does is with the, what is best for the team in that moment. I think for us, with the, with it, with the ball part of it sticking, we got to be able to make quicker decisions, quite honestly. And some of that is being ready to play. You know, be, when you're a gifted offensive player, a lot of times, you know, when the ball comes to you, you kind of hold it and you size up the defense and in a lot of times we've got to be better at making what I would say more decisive, quicker decisions. Because when the ball does stick or gets held, you're playing against a loaded floor and you're playing against a loaded defense. And then it goes counterintuitive to what I just discussed earlier. We can't get to the paint that way and we get caught with a shot profile that's not going to make us successful. So I don't think it's necessarily about like what play we're running as much as, you know, can we make the next play and the next best play? You know, it can't be, well, I, I just missed two threes in a row and I'm open, but I'm not going to shoot it because I just missed two. Like, we got to play with what the defense is, is giving us and take that. And But we've got to be decisive with decision-making because, you know, for us, with the free throw line, the offensive rebounding and some of those things, out of the four major categories offensively, two of them were okay. We did a great job taking care of the basketball. We were in the top ten. And our effective field goal percentage, the way we shot the basketball, was really good. Um, so it's not necessarily about the shots all the time, but it is about like where you're getting shots from. So if you're going to take a lot of non-paint twos or tough non-paint twos and you miss those shots, those are like the least, the, 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 the hardest and most difficult shot to offensive rebound. And you don't get fouled in that area. So if we can take shots even in the paint, it may not be at the rim, but in the paint, that's, that's better for us. I think last year we... We were the best team in the league finishing in the paint. Problem is we got there the fewest amount of times of anybody in the league. And, you know, we've got to help each other. And I think myself and our staff got to help them with the spacing to try to make sure that we can do that. And, again, when you get downhill, there's generally help. And that's when the ball can move a lot better. I, I think just coming down and just moving the ball around the perimeter with no purpose doesn't really do much either. A lot of the ball movement's predicated on how well you can force a team to rotate or put two on the ball. But not enough credit is given to you for your basketball IQ. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people just focus on how you make difficult shots look yeah. easy. Yeah. But as you go into this year, and now you hear Arturis is hammering this this note. Billy's hammering this note about shot profile, playing faster, move the ball. Mm -hmm. How does that affect you personally as a guy that a lot of these young players look to? Mm -hmm. How do you adapt, change your game, whatever you call it, so that when people look at you, they say, hey, He's following directions. He's think, doing the thing. You know, it's crazy that, like, you know, when I see this, the, the whole narrative about that, like, to me, it's like it's it's being a basketball player. It's, it's as simple as that. Like, yeah. whatever's asked from you, it shouldn't be difficult because it's, it's just being a basketball player. Like, I played for Pop. My first oh, day yeah. with Pop, it was like, you know, this, 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 and this. Okay. And you better figure it out. You know what yeah. I mean? And and my, my my years in San Antonio, I, I had the most assists in my my career because he, he he put me in a different position and forced me to understand how to be a basketball player at a higher level. That it wasn't just about scoring. So yeah. for me, I I don't have a problem with that at all. I look I look forward to it. You know what I mean? I want to I want to embrace that. So so you can see the adaptability when it comes to being a basketball player. So Bulls fans, he is saying he is going. You you're part of the playing faster solution hey, I'm, in this I'm, situation. I'm, I'm never because. The tempo, you know, people think mid-range, yeah. people think DeMar's going to walk it up and find whoever he's yeah. got to find or no, get to no, the elbow. Listen, you with the tempo. Listen, I've I've never been against anything for any coach I ever played for. So you're saying 28, 7, and 7. Oh, then. damn. Hey, that's, that's it? Yeah. No, I 7 oh, I know you have yeah, 7 assists in, in, in yeah, San Antonio, 7. right? 7.2 so, to okay. be exact. Right. I'm on for it. I love a challenge. That's the okay. beauty of it. That is is the challenge. All right, I'm writing it down yeah, right now. Right. I'm writing it down right now. What he said. He's 28, 28 seven, seven, seven. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna hold you to Dash that. Right? Tomorrow the road. <laughs> <All right. laughs>